one important aspect of dental implants that we all need to keep in mind. And I, I think we almost have to train ourselves to think about this. And so I, what I would encourage you to do would be to take out your pencil and paper and write down this one question. And I would like for us all to train ourselves to think that for every implant case that we do, we should ask ourselves this question. And this question is, what is the patient's biological reaction to what I'm going to put in their mouth? What is the patient's biological reaction to the implant parts and pieces that I'm going to put in that patient's mouth? And I wish we could get ourselves to ask every time we have a patient, every case that we do, the first question is, what is the patient's biological reaction to what I'm going to treat them with? Because there's a couple of choices that you and I make that are very important that's going to influence that biological reaction. One of the things that you're going to choose is the type of implant you're going to put in your patient's mouth. And that type is going to, the type of implant you choose is going to have a very profound effect on what that patient's biological reaction is going to be. The second influence on what that bi patient's biological reaction is going to be is the three-dimensional placement of that implant in three dimensions. And as was pointed out in the introduction, those two components, the type of implant and the implant components you choose, and also the three-dimensional placement is going to influence where the hard and soft tissues are located.